What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we're going Funko Bob hunting in Concord Mills Mall. They have a ton of stores like Video Game World. Uh, there's this other really cool comic shop, I forget the name, and a couple other places. So let's go Funko Bob hunting and see what we can find. All right guys, first stop is FYE. All right guys, here's FYE's back wall. Let's dive in. So they have two sales going on, buy one, get one free, as well as a bunch of 7.99 pops. I have this one in the collection, but I wanted to show you again, Wolverine, the comic cover. They do have a Luther from Umbrella Academy. This is one of the newest Elsa pops from Frozen. Down here, they have some of the last wave of WWE pops like Otis, Riddle, and Randy Orton. Right here are some of the Naruto pops. We have Mike Guy, Kotetsu, Izumo, and Kiba. Over here is their Burning Godzilla exclusive, as well as Stitch and Cuffs. I also found their Leprechaun Glow in the Dark exclusive. Actually a cool one. They also seem to have an overstock of their con exclusives and they're $9.99 right now. Over here I came across the demo bat and a couple more Stranger Things. We also had the Ozark set and Zorro. It also looks like they got a restock in of Dwight Schrute, the FYE exclusive. Here's a quick overview of some of their figures. They have some U2s there, some One Piece figures. I really like this Luffy one. And then they have a couple Demon Slayer ones. All kinds of different stuff guys, just so much stuff. Our manga choice for this video is going to be Bleach. I think that's everything in FYE though, nothing too new. Okay, so next up we're in Pop Cole and they kind of have a scattered, decent selection. Top there, they do actually have Electra there, still debating if I wanna get that one and Daredevil. Uh, right here we do have some mini on ice and playing crazy. Oh, and Princess Mini, part of the archive set. Some Cowboy Bebop, Black Clover, Noel. South Park there, Boy Band Kenny, Boy Band Stan and Cartman. Oh, the whole set, I think. Oh, nope, we're missing one. Over here, they do have Yu-Gi-Oh's Joey Wheeler. I do like this pop, and he has little cards in his hand. We also do have Amir's Titan, Krista, Pidgeotto there. Oh, man, I really want to collect Pokemon Pops because most of them do look really good. Like, I really like this Pidgeotto. And right here, we do have a couple of the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Olivier, and Riza. They also have a couple Funko Sodas like Santa Jack, Gomez, uh, the Jawa, and Geralt. Oh, and then they also have Holiday Group. Oh, they also have their Dragon Ball Z advent calendar. Kind of weird that it's Christmas themed though because the characters don't really have any Christmas aspects. Because if you look at the Star Wars one, like for example, Darth Vader's holding a candy cane, but on the Dragon Ball Z one, they're kind of just their plain characters. We also have a couple Jujutsu Kaisen figures, some Gojo, Sukuna, Itadori, uh, Megami there, and Unumaki. Um, what else do we have? What is this one? Love Live? Never heard of this. They have a couple different characters. I really like this launch Dragon Ball Q Poskit. Pretty cool. I wonder if they have her other version too. Now for Deku and Bakugo's Q Poskits, they just look too skinny for me. I feel like it doesn't accurately match the character. Now these are actually pretty neat. They do have the World Heroes Mission figures. They have Todoroki, Bakugo, or that's Deku, and Bakugo is what I meant. Okay, so you guys know me. I absolutely love Nico Robin from One Piece, and I really like how this figure is. That's actually really nice. I wonder how much it is. They never say. Oh. $32.99, that's actually not bad. And then they also had this Nami one, which was really nice. Again, nothing I really need here, but we're gonna keep going in the mall. Okay, so this is Hot Topic's small little section, but they do have some good stuff. Right here, they do have the Blacklight Jack Skellington with Snake. They also have Eeyore there, the Flocked with the Heart. They also have a couple of the Nightmare Before Christmas gingerbread holiday exclusives. Check out that sticker. I wouldn't mind them doing that sticker from now on. Right here, they have the new Doctor Strange from No Way Home and the Avatar Pop Miles. Here's some of the new Valentine's Day Star Wars. They have Kylo Ren, Rey, Princess Leia, and BB-8. And we actually brought this down. We almost bought it, but unfortunately it was damaged, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Though I haven't come across any of the villains just yet. I haven't come across these three, but I hope to so I can buy Doc Ock and Electro. I don't really like that Green Goblin too much. Oh, and right here they do actually have some of the Class 1B exclusives, Jirota, Pony, Setsuna, and Naito Monoma. Monoma. All right guys, so we're gonna head into video game world, but I came across this awesome Naruto statue. I really want this for my living room. It's probably like $3,000 though, but it's so freaking awesome. But anyways, let's go inside video game world. All right guys, so very quickly, we are in video game world. However, I came across the Snorlax in the back that I was trying to find a Snorlax for Bailey for Christmas and they were sold out at Pop Colt, so we ended up finding this one here. It is 50 bucks, but she really loves it, so we're gonna get it. All right guys, so we haven't been here in a while, but they have a lot of Funko Pops, like a lot. It goes on both sides, so we're gonna jump in. Right here we do have the Batman Arkham Asylum Joker Chrome. Ooh, I actually found the Freddy Funko with Funko HQ, ECC exclusive. I haven't seen this one in a while, but they have the Wiener Mobile from Oscar Mayer. Oh, this is a great little throwback to the Underminer. Right here are a couple more exclusives, Arthur Curry's Gladiator and Mian Numb? Is that how you say that? 
Here we have the Donald Shoulder Angel and Devil 2-pack from Wondrous Con, like this sticker. Here's the Funko Royals 2-pack of the Duke and Duchess. Right here we do have the Phantom Assassin from Dota 2. Haven't seen this one before. Always cool to find a Street Fighter pop. We have Balrog here. Right here is Frost Giant Loki. Just gonna kinda pull stuff up, see what we find. Valerian there, these are old pops. Constance Hatchaway, who's this? I feel like I know who it is, but I can't remember. Oh, no, that's Star Wars, I have no idea. Dryden Voss? Um, let's see, what else? Oh, they have Noel from Black Clover. Let's see what we got up here going on. Unmasked Corvo from Dishonored. It's the last one I need. Oh, nice. She, she found the last one, Zim. Only 15 bucks, not bad. Cheers. Oh, they have uh, Artemis from Ready Player One. That's the GameStop exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, the bronze one. On the back here, they have a couple of the deluxe and six inch. We have Doug Days, Captain Hook at the uh, Peter Pan's Flight, Masters of the Universe Target Con. Krang is a pretty cool one. A lot of detail there, Professor Hulk. Oh, and they have the chase. Here they have Steve from Stranger Things, as well as Eleven with Electrodes, NYCC, love that sticker. And then we also do have some uh, Harry Potter and Seinfeld chases. Right here they do a Pochaka from the Hello Kitty and Naruto collab, as well as the two pack from Good Omens. Oh, right here, this is actually a pretty cool find. We have a Luck Voltia here, nice. Okay, so this is one of their Grail cases, but there's really nothing above like 60 bucks, I feel like, so it's not too crazy, but let's dive in. Up top here they have Bella Porch, Tyrael, and Razor Ramon. They do have the original Space Jam Taz Chase, which is pretty nice. Wow, I didn't realize DW actually got that expensive at 40 bucks. Right here they do have the Sasuke Chase and the Muppet Sam Eagle. That one's actually 80 bucks, that's the most expensive. They also have Anna there from Frozen, the 2014 sticker, check that out. They also have a couple of the amazing Thailand Pops. Those are pretty neat actually. I think that one glows in the dark, maybe. Now the other side here, they do have the Chester Cheetah there. They also have Mark Hamill. Uh, the Creep is Walmart stickers fall off though. Kawaki there. Ooh, Winry Rockville, $75 though. I do have her though. Down here are a couple cool ones. We have Agent J and Frank, Batman the Deceased, The Devastator, love that one. Dark Side, Yelena Chase, Scorpion Chase, Spar Zartan Chase, Zartan. Is it Zartan? I think it's Zartan. Dark Elf, Captain America. Dark Elf's a really old pop. Now this is what I found weird. They actually have Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new common at $45 for some reason. Not sure what's going on there. And down here, they actually do have the Cabbage Man and Cart, like that one, and a couple of the tea bundles. This was a pretty cool find. We had the DIY Freddy here, the vinyl figure, a thousand pieces. And we also had a Funko Shop exclusive Thanos at 3,000 pieces, the Dorbs. I even found the Hello Kitty Bakugo, that's pretty neat. This is always an awesome one, Edna Jack Jack. So checking out some of their statues here, they do have this awesome Tanjiro one as well as Inosuke. These figures are huge. And of course, the waifu, Nico Robin here. Love both of these. I like the dark blue more though. I also really like these Android 18 figures. Oh wow, check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Magician figure up here, $160, but that thing looks amazing. They also have this really awesome Gogeta one, love the look of this. All right, so over in GameStop, we do have Paul Heyman. I actually picked this one up for my collection for, I still need a um, Brock Lesnar though. But we also have Rob Van Dam. Oh, I didn't realize he had a WrestleMania kind of like pin in there, that's kind of cool. Randy Orton, U2 uh, Adam, Bella Porch back there. We have Cindy Lauper again. I did actually find this. They have, I think, two of these. The Sukuna one on Throne. He's actually smaller in person than I thought he was, but still a fantastic hop. If I wasn't in North Carolina, I might pick it up, but that's okay. Savage Oppress here from the uh, Red Saber series, which is pretty cool. Darth Sidious. Oh, Darth Tyrannus. That was the last one. I was looking on the back and I couldn't figure out what his silhouette was. Up here, they have some of Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have Watson with Nessie. Batgun Slim over here. Inasa, uh, Jiro, and Aoyama, and Bertolt. Oh, they have Mahiro. Nice. Over here, they have a couple clearance pops. So they have some of the Buzz Lightyear, Thor Love and Thunder pops, Simpsons, Miss Marvel, Black Adam. Right here, they have the Tokyo Jewelry tea bundle. Not surprised. The t-shirt's kind of cool, though and then a bunch of the Bounty Hunter collection. Oh, and Evil Queen. All right guys, so our last stop in the mall is going to be Hollywood Heroes and Villains, and they have so many Funko Pops here, so let's dive in. Again guys, I wasn't kidding, they have so many Pops. I actually haven't seen this one in person yet, but I still don't like the look of it, so passing on it. Up top here, they have King Deadpool and some of the Hall of Armor Pops. Oh, they also have the Victory Shawarma set. I'm kind of upset they have it at $40 here because this is 25 retail. Still a great two pack, I'll get it eventually. Right here, I came across a couple more Spider-Man pops. We have the Iron Spider box lunch, the in-game one, as well as No Way Home. They also have the 80 Year Spider-Man, but I like the metallic Hot Topic one better. Oh, this one's really awesome too. The Batman uh, with Hall of Justice. Love this pop town. They also have a bunch of the Funko What If ones. 
All right, guys, so this is their animation section. We have a bunch of My Hero Academia down here. A lot of the newer ones. They do have Infinite Deku with uh, Aerie there. They also have Nobara. I don't think I've seen any of the other Jujutsu Kaisen, though. Shodaizawa, Mirio, Deku Training. They also have Kodagiri there, Tamaki, and Silver Age All Might, and Momo. They have a lot of the regular older commons, which is pretty nice, like Tokiyami there, Overhaul, All Might Weekend, one of my favorite pops. They also have a couple Demon Slayer and One Piece pops, like the uh, Luffy Taro there is pretty nice, and Nosuke, Chocho there, Shikadai. They have a bunch of Sakuras there. I actually need a new one because mine is technically damaged. My guy, oh, they have Kakashi, nice. As well as Madara Uchiha, a bunch of Tobis there. Let's see, Orochimaru, Naruto. Tetsu, Sasuke. Over here they have a couple of the Attack on Titans, the Black Clover Pops, Yu-Gi-Oh there, Kurapika, some of the Fire Force, which is pretty nice. A lot of the bigger Pops. They also have uh, Sukuna up there. Let's see. Oh, they have uh, Kuruma there. Stardust Dragon is a great one. Demon Slayer Moment. And they also have uh, Gigantomachia, Exodia. I really want Exodia, but not for 40. Right here I found a lot of their covers. They have the Thor one, Wonder Woman, and Superman, as well as some of the basketball ones, and Black Panther, and the Jurassic Park. Oh, they also have Assassin's Creed. I noticed up front here, they actually have a bunch of chases here, like One Piece, Law, they also have some of the Care Bears, Yelena, Spider-Man, Naruto. A lot of good stuff, a lot of great chases. All right guys, over here they have a couple of the AAA exclusives. They have Kakashi there, no chases though that I'm seeing. Oh, they have the regular Anbu too. Minato there, Ichigo, Sasuke. We have Tomura there, another Tobi. Ooh, Killua, love the Godspeed. They also have Super Saiyan Gohan, Toga. A lot of great stuff here. Uh, John Lennon over there, Sebastian, Tanjo, Ariel. Goofy there is pretty nice. Marilyn Monroe, Boys and Spider-Man. Oh, there's so much stuff, there's so much stuff. Over here they have Captain Universe Spider-Man, Loki with Scepter, which is really nice. Oh, the AAA Spider-Man. They also have the I Am Iron Man exclusive. All right guys, so one of the weirdest places I just found Funko Pops was Forever 21, so I guess check your local ones. All right guys, so that was pretty much it for this hunt. We're on our way out. I didn't really find anything that I needed for the collection today, but it was nice to look around a mall that I haven't been to in a couple months. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, smash that like button down below. Let me know in the comments what was something you picked up recently. That's going to be the question of the day. And what did you add to your collection? I know Christmas just happened. So did you guys get any Funko Pops or anything like that? Let me know in the comments. And again, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I want to say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys absolutely rock. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. And make sure to be checking out all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.